there are two types of hypertensive issues that you want to pay attention to. One is going to be urgency. The other one will be emergency. Please take a look at the differences. Good. Urgency. What does that mean? Well, say that you get a cut. All right, some mechanical object introduces a cut. You're going to go to an urgy care. An urgy care. But what if you get into a car accident and you're massively hemorrhaging? You're not going to go to an urgy care. Where are you going? You're going to the ER, the emergency room. Same concept. Here, however, I want you to apply it to hypertension. Urgency. Do you need treatment? Yes, you do. But you have a little bit more time to deal with this. Take a look at the blood pressure. We have systole of 180 and a diastole of 120. Wow. What's normal? 120 over 80. What is definition of hypertension? 140 over 90 and above. And we have 180 and 120. But the most important point is the fact that the organs are not affected. Now, what organs might you be thinking about when you have hypertension? You should be thinking about the heart. You should be thinking about the kidney. But notice, please, that there's no end organ damage. Definition of urgency, hypertension. What about emergency? Mm. You see this list here. It's not my job to make sure that all I'm doing is reading the list to you, nor is it your job to memorize it. It's the fact that as you go from head to toe and you have hypertension that is so high, guess what? You're actually causing end organ damage to begin with the brain. There's enough pressure in which the brain, parenchyma, is being damaged. What's this called? Good, encephalopathy. What if it's uh, enough damage that's taking place in a blood vessel leading to the brain? What does that result in? That's not encephalopathy. That's called a stroke. That's called a CVA. What's that mean? Cerebrovascular accident. Huh? So what is that patient going to result in? What did I just do? It's the fact that maybe <laughs> my speech gets impeded. Maybe. There's one side of the body which doesn't want to move anymore. Some type of stroke-like issue. Maybe it's hemorrhagic. Maybe it's ischemic. What kind of hypertension? Emergency. Is an organ being damaged? Of course there is. That's the definition of emergency. What do you want to do with treatment? Immediate treatment. We haven't gotten to treatment yet, but we shall. Huh. Next, you do a fundoscopic examination. What are you checking for? You're checking for the retina. Are you there? Don't just look at me. You want to, well, look at me, but I want you to look into my retina. How are you going to do that? Not with your naked eye, with the fundoscopic examination. What are you going to notice? Papadema. Wow, hypertension is quite high. What are you worried about? Emergency hypertension. What do you want to do? Immediate therapy. Let's continue. Well, the heart gets damaged. What's that called? Congestive heart failure, CHF. So what do you want to provide? Advanced cardiac support. Put those together, please. ACS, CHF. What's going on? Organ being damaged. What kind of hypertension? Emergency. Urgency? Mm -mm. High hypertension, but in urgency, the organs remain pretty much intact. Dissection. What's that mean? I want you to take a hose. Take a hose, and I want you to turn up the pressure so high that at some point, the hose can't take it anymore. What is it going to do? It will dissect right through there. What's this hose that I'm referring to in your body? It's called the aorta. huh? And the aorta, if there's enough hypertension at some point, what's going to happen? You're going to dissect right through. Think of the anatomy. Close your eyes. Think of the anatomy. What do we have? Intima, media, adventitia. You might then do what? Dissect right through. And when you do so, isn't that an emergency? How's that patient going to present to you, please? Ow! Stabbing back pain. 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, stabbing back pain. Welcome to dissection. What about the kidney? Is that going to undergo damage? Of course it will. What's that called? Acute renal failure. Please look at ARF. If there's enough kidney damage, what may then happen? What, you might release RBCs. What's this called? Hematuria, clinically, huh? Finally, we have enough damage that's taking place in your blood vessels. What may then happen to the RBC as it traverses through the blood vessel? It might get damaged. What's that called? Microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, M-A-H-A. -A. Is that clear? Now, earlier I said that, well, we have a little bit more time with urgency. Pay attention to reducing blood pressure as being an objective in both. Clear? So that's the general concept. But then hours and days, if it's urgency, a quiet reduction, quote unquote. Emergency. This is not a joke. 25 reduction in blood pressure. You want to do this over minutes and hours. I'm, I'm sorry, what was, it? what was the definition of emergency? What happened? It's the fact that your organs were damaged. What kind of organs were they? They were the brain, what's that called? Encephalopathy, papadema. What if it was a heart? It's called congestive heart failure. What about the kidney? 
chronic renal failure, so on and so forth. What about the agents that you might want to use here in terms of emergency? You do everything in power to make sure the blood pressure drops ASAP. So welcome to nitroglycerin, NTG. Nitroglycerin, what does that mean to you in pharmacology? It means that you're going to have universal vasodilation. Why do I say universal? Because you should know that the veins are undergoing vasodilation. Huh? The veins are undergoing vasodilation. What does that mean? Less blood that's being delivered to the heart. What does that mean, please? In physiology, you've heard of preload. You decrease the preload. Do you not? Of course you do. When you do exactly what? Provide nitroglycerin. What else may happen? Well, this is hypertension. You want to, therefore, decrease the resistance. What about the arterial side? Would nitroglycerin do that as well? Of course it does. So what does that do to afterload? Also decreases it. In the process, what are you doing to your blood pressure? A decrease. Welcome to emergency. How much time? Minutes, hours. Understand the concept first. It's the fact that in both urgency and emergency, the hypertension is quite high. But it's the fact that, well, is the organ being affected? Yes or no? You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.